So at the moment I'm reading uh, Janos Yahimara's A Little Life. It's a well, pretty dark book actually, but it's really interesting. It talks about uh, life in general and uh, struggles, and it's about the life of four friends in uh, Manhattan, New York. Oh. And you learn a little bit uh, about all of them. And uh, more or less, uh, she focuses on, on one of them, and you discover that he has quite a dark past. Oh. And then you learn a bit from it. Um, do you like it so far? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped reading it in the winter because it was a bit too dark for oh, yeah. for for that time. But I'm gonna retake it now, so it's really cool. I recommend okay. it. One of the last books is the in Spanish, and it's La Magia de Ser Sofia, which would be the magic of being Sophie. Ah, nice. That's is it a fictional book? Like no, it's a like a romantic novel book of a girl in Madrid. Ah, nice. Yeah. Did you enjoy reading it? Is yeah, it, it was so nice. Cool. I recommend it. <laughs> All right. Max Misha and the Devils. It's a, it's a book about um, this guy from uh, Norway, and he, um, he travels to um, the United States, and he becomes a theater director there. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it's just about his life basically. It's uh, it's really uh, it's a thick book. Yeah. Uh, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Well. yeah. So I you like so far? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm reading uh, The Fall by Abdul Kami. This is in Spanish, that's why it's called La Caída. Nice. I don't know the title in French. But oh yeah, and you just started with the book, yeah? Yeah, just starting, page do you, 14. Do you roughly know what it is about or what made you read this book? Well, the book is... Um, it, it takes place in Amsterdam, the history that, uh, that Kami is, is uh, writing about. So it's in this... Yeah, scenario. So oh, nice. that was one of the reasons why I started to to, nice. to read it, but also because it's my first uh, Kami book, and I also wanted to you know, dig a, li a little bit in his uh, writings. So currently, I'm reading How to Have a Good Day, mm -hmm. and it's a non-fiction book. This one uh, by Caroline Caroline Webb. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's basically how to uh, apply and have a, a really nice day or life uh, in your personal life and as well in, a, in your professional life. Oh, nice. Do you yeah. like it so far? Did you yeah, do some good? Yeah, just started, like oh, the just first started. 10 pages, yes. What made you read it? Like, did somebody uh, recommend it? I found it on a second-hand uh, bookshop ah. and found it, it was curious, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the last book I read was from a new Dutch author, mm -hmm. uh, she's called Brechtje Hofstede and it was uh, a novel about a student in Paris, in Paris and her um, title was um, The Hemel Boven Parijs, which is nice. the heaven above Paris. Okay, and it's just a fictional story uh, telling about a student in Paris and yes, her life? Yes, it's about her exchange um, experience mm -hmm. um, and her uh, professor who recognizes something in her that he recognized in an old lover. Ah. Um, uh, but it's a really, it's a quite short book, it's quite brief, but it's a really, yeah, I thought it was a really beautiful story with a lot of references to art and literature and I think it was great, yeah. Yes. It's a book by a Russian author, Yulia Latinina. Uh -huh. It's about early Gnostic Christianity. Nice. It's the second part of a series called... Uh, I'm not sure how to translate it. Okay. Anyway, it's just on, G uh, on Jesus. Can you say it in Russian? Then I will ask you... Jesus Historical Okay, awesome. Did you enjoy reading Invest it? Investigation, there you go. Investigation. I, forget, I forget words. Did you yeah. enjoy reading it? Yeah, very insightful. Nice. I've, uh, I've been brought up in a religious household and I'm not religious now. Okay. And lots of stuff didn't make sense. It makes now. So, All right. yeah. That sounds great. Currently I'm reading the last Harry Potter. The last Harry Potter? <laughs> yes. All right. I think I read the whole series in Dutch first because I speak Dutch mm -hmm. and then uh, I liked the last books the most so then I started reading them in French to practice a bit. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. Where the Crow Dad sing, it's okay. on Audible. So um. I listen to it instead of reading it. It's about this girl that um, it takes place in the south and it ends up with she's going through a murder story right now. Oh, murder. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it so far? It, I do. Would yeah. you recommend it? Yes. Yeah. All right. They're actually making a movie of it right now. Yeah, I'm uh, currently reading the talk of Java. The talk of Java? Uh, Dutch is the talk from Java. It's we'll a, about the history of uh, yeah, the colonial past of uh, 
um, Netherlands and Indonesia. Oh, nice, interesting. Yeah. And like a kind of love between two people, one in uh, Holland and one in Indonesia. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, what ma made you go for that book? Like, did somebody recommend it to you, or where did yeah, you find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, a friend of mine, and um, we have like the same uh, family history mm -hmm. because we're both. Uh, half Indonesia and half Indonesian and half Dutch. Oh nice. So that's why he recommended it. Cool. What's up guys? As always I want to give away one of the books you just saw in the video to one of you. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, comment below which book you'd like to have and follow my Instagram where I'll announce the winner within two weeks. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Peace.